G'day mate. Today, I've got a roadside find. My mother-in-law and father-in-law found this. One of the people they know that I'm going to throw it out. So, uh, my daughter brought it around to me to see if I had the parts to fix it. And luck would have it, I do have all the parts. But I have not started it yet. So I thought I'd share the story of this little thing. I have looked inside the piston. The compression was very low. It's been sitting there for a long time, so I pulled it over a few times. Now it's got compression. Um, its initial problems were, funny enough, how about the throw this? Uh, the bar's slightly bent. Shot this one here. So the bar's bent just there. So they must have thrown it around. So I don't know if it's a spark or anything on this thing yet. The handlebar was broken there. I didn't see that to the last. The um, chain brake guard, this part here, that was missing and broken. So it was broken just there. So I pulled all that apart to fix that. So that was pain. So the handlebars were more of a pain in the ass than anything. But um, the air filter was filthy, 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 dirty. So I thought, I um, don't know how long it's been sitting there, but apparently it's been sitting there for a few years. I can't work out when these things are made. There's no, like, um, date. It's 30, 43. No year date, though. 11, 11, 30, 30, 43. Probably 01. 01, not, um, 1905. So there's no, I can't tell what it is. It does say it's 3 8 pitch. That all's got. So I replaced the bar and chain. I haven't sharpened this chain yet. It feels pretty sharp. I think this might be the chain. I've hit the um, bracket on the, um, the timber holder. So I, I had a look inside the fuel and oil. It looks clean. But funny enough, the oil, um, it all is held. It's in here, it smells like canola oil slash peanut butter oil. It stinks. So I don't even know all oil. But hopefully I'll get it running today. So I'll put some 40 to 1. Did that for a little quick. Must have put the fuel in the noise. It did fuel and oil looks like. So and I also replaced the um, spur drive. So these are spurs, looks like cowboy spurs. Rim drive's got a replaceable part there. But this one's quite worn out. And the one on now was off another saw where I got the parts from. It was a burnout cylinder, but um, it had a good one so. I have kept this just for the case I need it, but I do have a replacement drum and rim drive for that one anyway. So, um, I might put some more oil on that. Make sure it goes. It's about spent the last 10 minutes trying to get my ugly mug being filmed on this same time as the saw. I'm what you call photogenic. Maybe the um, microphone might work better if they can see my face. New technology crap. So, I've got some start, you bastard. Some, that's Australian stuff. It's just some ether. So if it doesn't want to kick, I'll screw it in the um, airfoil area. See how she goes. But, um, I don't know. It's been sitting for years. It might start, it might start. That, if it does start, that's why I like two strokes and not batteries. When your batteries die, you gotta buy a brand new batteries. That's got a um, an electric chainsaw pulse or and he's had it for oh put this way, there's no paint missing off the bar at all. It's hard to use it and the bloody motor's um, not working on the end of the pole, the electric motor it doesn't even spin over now, it's locked up. It clicks and doesn't work, so it's brush brushless, just out of warranty, and it's still so I don't know. Two strike, unless you can fix them. You, unless you can refuel them when you run out. Yeah, up the bush. Because up the bush, they don't have power points very often. Just make sure I'm still in focus here. Now, let's see. Yeah, but you can still see that. One full choke. There's no fuel in the system oil. Oh, there we go. How's that? That's so 
cutting some timber. That's good news. Alright, hang on a second, pause ya. Go for a walk. Alright. I haven't got much timber here for you. Oh no, an inch at the end because it's been halfway cut through here. So I'm going to do a little cut then do a one full cut. That's about it. Um, so which it's up, off, it's on. to replace the carby because I haven't pulled the carby off I haven't expected inside it it's filthy dirty I haven't really cleaned the saw much on it you no idea inside of that filthy dirty like all the dirt and debris and crap in there so I'll put an aftermarket air tool in Yeah, I'm happy with that. For a roadside throw out, people throw out the most dangerous things. Alright, so that goes. I'll show you what we've been doing with my daughter. We've been building a, um, a rabbit mansion or playhouse for her, rabbit, her male rabbit that she loves dearly. It used to be a cocky cage or something like that, but we're um, putting it up so she'll put the roof on it yet. This is just for one male rabbit. She loves the thing so much. It's one of these girls behind here, another girl. Australia's starting to heat up, so we got to be careful of heat, but he's going to have the banana tree behind this um, palace there, um, walkways, ramps. She wants to put a a rabbit, a rabbit walkway, a ramp that goes up around platforms, like a little beds up top, just so you can play, have fun. Hey guys, always thanks for watching.